Hey guys, welcome back to Farms and Farms. Uh, hopefully, like I said in the past video, I'll be able to make um, the, my videos be more consistent. Um, but since it's winter, um, a lot of work has kind of slowed down and that's good. In a lot of ways, it, January is kind of the month to be the rest period for a farmer because there's not a um, a whole lot you can do, like I said. So today is something that I have been wanting to talk about uh, throughout the winter since we're not doing a whole lot of anything else, is the ideas and philosophy that I put into my garden. And first of all, in order to kind of explain a lot of those concepts, we have to talk about nomenclature. Um, some just the definitions of the ideas that I will begin to talk about as I make more videos uh, so everyone is on the same page of, of what I mean. And today I want to talk about two things, garden architecture and garden sequences. And both are very simple concepts, it's just um, I build upon them and some of my ideas on how, how to plant a garden. So garden architecture is the way you build a garden spatially. So first of all, what do I mean by build a garden? Well, a garden is a man-made ecosystem. So you got to think about the things that you do to your garden affect a large swath of systems, of biological systems. So for instance, if you plant corn, more than likely you're going to attract a fungi that prey upon the corn plant, like corn smut. Um, if you plant squash, you're going to attract squash borers. If you plant things like tomatoes or cucumbers, you're going to attract white-tailed deer to come and eat them. Uh, those are all consequences of the actions of planting each one of those species. Um, thinking about it from a companion planting uh, uh, context, if you plant peas with okra, then you might get a, a benefit out of planting those two species together. So when I talk about garden art architecture, I'm trying to, um, to convey how I'm building an ecosystem. And then the second part of that definition is spatially. How, how do I build an ecosystem spatially? So what does spatially mean? It means in reference to space, like um, lengthwise, widthwise, and heightwise. So garden architecture refers to how you plant and space your plants. So how many rows are you going to have in your garden? Are you going to have five rows of okra, ten rows of okra, etc.? It refers to how long the rows are. Um, if you're going to plant five 16-foot rows, five 20-foot rows, five 100 foot rows, stuff like that. Um, so when I say garden architecture, again, I'm, I'm, I'm saying or trying to convey to you how I'm planting and laying out my garden. So give you a simple garden architecture. A lot of times I'll plant peas six, six inches apart within the row, and each row is one foot apart. So the row has one pea, at least one pea plant um, every six inches, and the interrow space, the space between the rows, is one foot. So that's garden architecture. The next is sequence, and sequence is also fairly easy to understand. You can think of it as any sort of pattern. So, you know, in kindergarten, you learn what patterns are. You have like four squares lined up against each other, and then two circles, and then it repeats. Um, yeah, and that's your pattern. Or in music, you have these um, these strings of notes put together, and that's called your sequence. Um, you can think of any pop song, and the sequence is just repeated every single time you have a verse or every single time you have a chorus. You think the classical music, one of the most famous sequences, is Ludwig von Beethoven's uh, Fifth Symphony. Dun 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 dun. Those three notes are the sequence, the, the motif, it becomes a motif throughout all of that symphony. 
Uh, in gardens, there's sequences too. Any pattern that you repeat over and over and over again becomes your garden architecture sequence. So when I was talking before about planting peas every six inches within um, rows spread one foot apart, that's my, my garden sequence. Um, so that's all for today. And one of my next videos, I'll start talking about how I actually um, write those down on, and plan my garden out because I have a notation that I think explains everything fairly simply. Okay, I'll see you later and I hope you have a great winter.